Coach Brad Lair, the Demon football coach, day after the season opener at Texas A&M, you, you and your staff have had an opportunity to review the game tape, uh, meet with your players. Uh, what were your impressions after watching the tape? Well, lack of execution in all three phases. You know, when, when, when you really look at it and break it down, we did some good things and did some bad things, and, and we wanted to make sure that uh, we, we, we show the positives, we, we learn from the negatives, we learn from the mistakes. But, you know, the thing I wanted to look at in all three phases is, is what did we do to negate any opportunity to win the football game uh, as far as execution and, and to make sure as we move forward uh, that we get those things corrected. But our guys competed for four quarters. I said that after the game. Uh, I thought that when I saw it live, and, and I saw that when we watched the tape in all three phases. So that's definitely something to build off of, and th there's a lot of, lot, of, lot of things on this tape that we'll be able to build off of to be able to move forward. What were some of those things that you saw as positives? Well, I think, you know, one thing we talked about was winning the turnover battle. Uh, we didn't have any turnovers offensively against a very physical football team. We were able to protect the football. Uh, we had one uh, takeaway defensively, had another uh, opportunity early on in the game. I guess uh, the, the, the third or fourth series was still seven to nothing, uh, had an opportunity interception, uh, to, you know, that, that really changes the momentum of the game. But uh, so we were able to win uh, the, 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 the turnover battle, uh, which I thought was huge sacks. We didn't give up any sacks. We threw the ball 30 plus times. Uh, didn't give up any sacks. Uh, we were able to get them behind the sticks a couple of times, had two sacks. Uh, and I thought our, our punting game, uh, I thought uh, Parker and, and, and all of those guys did a great job uh, for him to have nine punts and net uh, an average of a little over 42 yards, I thought was huge, uh, to help try to, uh, to maintain field position throughout the game. Okay, what were some areas that you see were particularly in need of uh, work? Well, I think it, it starts, uh, you know, being able to run the football and stop the run, uh, bottom line. Uh, we've got to, to, to be physical. We've got to be able to run the football offensively. And, and the same thing defensively. We've got to be able to stop the run. Uh, I think we had 21 yards rushing offensively, gave up eight yards per carry. And, you know, you, you, you're not going to win being able to do things like that. Uh, Turno, I mean, excuse me, third downs. You know, we were one of 12. Uh, nine of those opportunities offensively were third and seven plus. So it shows you early first down success. Uh, we were being put behind the sticks early on, and then they were eight of 11. So they kept drives alive, which leads me into time of possession. Uh, we had the ball 19 minutes, they had it 41. You know, so those things, three things really stand out, and then penalties. You know, we had 12 penalties, eight of those were discipline penalties, uh, false starts. Uh, kickoff out of bounds, delay of games, those things that we can control that, that will have to be better, not just uh, the, guy, the players, but also the coaches and the game management on the sideline. All right, the attitude of the team and the staff and everybody uh, a day later. Good, you know, I had a great workout. Our guys, uh, you know, I've gotten several emails from, uh, from professors talking about our players being in class this morning, which, you know what, that's where they're supposed to be. Uh, that was on their schedule to be there, and, and, and our guys did a great job starting this morning being in class. Um, and then coming into the weight room and treatment, got some guys banged up getting treatment, but had a great workout with the offense and defense, and then a great team meeting uh, to, uh, to look at the things that we did good and did bad, get those behind us as we move forward to Grambling. Schedule uh, for the weekend? Uh, players will be off uh, tomorrow and uh, be back normal uh, – week starting on Sunday at one o'clock with weights and then we'll get right into Grambling and and Monday's a typical academic day where they're off and then back Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And Grambling, you'll be able to watch them a little bit tomorrow night? No doubt, it'll be good. Be able to sit back and uh, relax a little bit and watch uh, watch them on TV against Lafayette and, and kind of get uh, any uh, any changes that they've had from last year to this year. You know, Coach Fives does such a great job. His staff is pretty much in check. Uh, offense coordinator did go to Prairie View, uh, but uh, a lot of similar things that they'll do. So we'll get the opportunity to see them Saturday night.